Hey, is that Moses douchebag on here? Because you didn't tell me there was a, a Moses on the on the line. Moses, the Moses the douchebag? I don't think he's a douchebag, but yeah, there's Moses that's on the podcast. Hey, he is a douchebag, man. He was completely Why? disrespecting me, man. He was he was he was yapping, and I did I wasn't hearing what he was saying. But while me and you were talking, mm. I wasn't aware there was a second person. So mm. when the stream got re-uploaded, all I was hearing it was Moses, and he was just yapping and yapping, man. Like I'm like, man, I I if I knew that there was a person there saying the stuff he was saying, I probably wouldn't have gone on the live, man, because the guy was completely disrespecting me, man. I don't think he's just being disrespectful. You, you have to understand, we come from a point where we hear all these things about Jason all the time. He's going to be a new rap career. He's going to do this movie, that movie. And it's always a, like a batch of lies. Now, you might be producing something that might come out into the limelight that's going to, you know, be a cartoon or a movie, whatever. But anytime Jason says he's going to, you know, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that, you have to take it with a grain of salt. Absolutely. I, I completely understand, man. And that's exactly what my girlfriend was telling me. She was telling me that you guys take everything Jason says with a grain of salt because mm -hmm. he talks and talks and doesn't deliver. And I completely understand because I myself, I, me and him were talking about doing a My Story Part 10 that was going to be a three-year project where he was going to get shredded and shaped. And my girlfriend was there. She'll tell you. She'll, she, she heard him when he said, this time we're going to make it happen. We're going to, you know, I'm going to put all my focus in this project. He was, he said he was committed this time, but something seemed a little off about it, man. He was a little bit too um, amped up this time around. I think, I don't know, man, but, you know, hopefully, you know, uh, uh, Chef Crackhead wasn't, you know, giving him any, any uppers, man, because he was really, something was not right about him. And I'm not going to, make any allegations but just something was and i known him for years so that was very weird you know maybe he needs his haldol shot again yeah you know but um i understand you guys man you know and uh no i ain't no hard feeling to moses man actually moses is, is my father's name and my mm -hmm. younger brother's name so moses i, I love your name man so 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 anytime jason the, the reason why moses was probably laughing is like i said every time we hear something with jason we're like here we go again <laughs> And we start laughing because it's it's just a comedy routine at this point. Yeah, hey, no harm feelings, man. And Moses, man, that no no ill will towards him. And uh, you got to be a freak is challenging me. Um, I just want to say that you got to be a freak is my account that I where I troll on, and uh, and you guys have fell for it, man. I've got a second phone right here, actually. Let me see where I'm where I'm on the live with you guys right now, and I'm I'm typing as you got to be a freak, and I'm over here just trolling you guys and and. and Pulling, you know, that's why that's the reason. That, why that's I, a I bold never, claim. That's a bold claim. I that never you went. Be a freak. I never went live with you guys under my "you got to be a freak" because I always wanted to keep it secret. Oh, it's not a bold claim. I mean, it's the truth. I can pull it up right now. I've got my phone right here, but um, I, you know, I'm just trolling. That's all. It's my troll account, and I go on the fitness and 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 I drop videos and stuff, and and that's the reason why I I like keeping it secret and I like keeping that mystery. So. I just want to let you guys know that it'll never go on live. And uh, and if it does go on live, it'll just probably be my body, my sexy body with a with a face mask covering my head and stuff. You know what I mean? Or special effects. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you're just going to piss off the real. You got to be a freak even more. Hey, I, hey, he's a mini me, man. He's a mini me. I really don't even know who he is. I mean, all these people that that started doing anything Jason related mm -hmm. pretty much came after me. And I never disrespected any of them. I never disrespected the 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 uh, the misfits. I never disrespected you got to be a freak or you. Mm -hmm. um, the only the only reason I ever did say fuck the their ray misfits is because they were completely disrespecting me i was just defending myself i never called them out out of uh, initial ill will i don't even care much about him but the problem was that anytime me and jason did a project uh they would always step in and, and sabotage shit and how were they sabotaging I, it well they would tell him on they, they would make a video with jason and they would go on and and and, and say hey you know, Jonas was giving him bad, unhealthy food. He mm -hmm. was uh, getting him out of shape and making him light. 
uh, planks, fire planks on his head and stuff like that, which is completely false. Jason mm -hmm. wanted to eat that food. He bought that with his own money. Mm -hmm. And the fire plank stuff, that's his idea. That's not my idea. And But it was very safe when he did it. Like, it wasn't... He wasn't using alcohol or gas to light the planks. He was using kerosene, which lights quick and it doesn't burn your body. Mm. But that's Jason's idea. It wasn't my idea. And on top of that, um, just, uh, you know, it, it, it was, it, you know, they always came out. The misfits always came out and were saying, oh, don't don't roll with, J with Jonas after we would do a video. But I'd be at the gym working out and, mm. and Brad, Big Brad Wolf, would come approach me trying to shake my hand. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like we were like, everything was cool. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I can't do that, bro. You know what I mean? Like I can't, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're acting one way behind my back and then you see me in the gym working out and then you want to reach out and you want to hold my hand. You know what I mean? Like it's, something's off, you know? Now did, you're saying, you're saying Brad personally said something that was, was different from how he acted in front of you? Is that what you're well, saying? Well, that's completely what happened because after we did my story part uh, nine, the one where Jason was dressed up as Scarface and jumped off a bridge, uh, there was a gym video. There was a gym Sorry. video. There was a Sorry. gym video that was that was done in the in the uh, Delray Beach, LA Fitness. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they did a video where uh, a Andrew and Brad were there, and they were telling Jason how much of a jackass he was for did what he did, and that people were pissed off that he was charging them a dollar ninety nine for a video that mm. that we made where Jason was acting and stuff what's the big deal we're charging a dollar 99 for a video like what you guys don't want to support your creators like you guys think this shit just well free? Like, here's the here's the thing with charging for content it's very easy for a troll to as soon as it's up record the video and just re upload it somewhere else so it's pointless whatever you're putting money towards charging people for Hey, completely understand 100%, but why uh, go on there and tell Jason that he's a bitch for doing that, for charging people for the video? Like, he's not a bitch for doing that. We're, we're trying to make a little bit of fucking money. Big deal. Like, mm. you guys pay $5 more money to get a shout out from him on Cameo or Instagram. Mm. They pay $5 for that. Like, that's retarded. You know what I mean? Like, Somebody, just some people a shout pay out. more. Yeah, they get a shout out and they pay more and that's 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 you're not getting a whole video. This is this is these are the videos that made Jason Genova. You know what I mean? I don't want to go into the whole backstory, but everybody knows that's how it was done. Uh but uh hey man, no ill ill will to any of them. The Delray Misfits, you know, just I, I don't wanna call any of them out, just keep my distance. And all the mini me's out there, man, that came afterwards, you know. Look, man, I didn't mean any disrespect when I said who are you in particular because the content you provide... No, no, no I, don't, I don't get offended. Trust me, from, I don't get offended. What I've seen here from your content, it's mm. content that's very uh, uh, woke. You know, you, you go... You basically are, are, are exposing society, you know, for what it is nowadays. It's not the same as it was in the 80s or the 90s. This, this is nice. a, a different world we live in where every business is pretty much operating like a strip club. Very true. Very true. You know, that's what it is. That's what society people is. People in here want to know when the next Metallica album is getting dropped. <laughs> oh, Metallica, man. Those guys, you know what, man? You know, and it's very sad that you mentioned Metallica because those guys are like 100 years old. All respect to them, though. I love Metallica. Well, they're but... saying that you look like one of them. I think it's the uh, guitarist. Oh, yeah, man. Kirk Hammett, man. The yeah, leg yeah. Legendary... <laughs> But I like Carlos. I like Carlos Santana better, you know. But anyway, um, the the you know those guys did their thing, and they're really old, and they're still doing it. My question to you is, why isn't there young guys doing it? There are. There's a, there's a, there's a large group of bands that are out there that are are doing exactly almost the same thing Metallica did, or even better, but. The thing is, what made Metallica Metallica was the times of when they came out. We're talking about 80s, 90s, where the world was a completely different place and you weren't broadcasted on every social media platform. These guys had to tour 
every day in, in day in and day out. And now bands now, to, in, in my opinion, get way too much exposure. So, I mean, they might grow off of that. They might not. But Metallica came up in a completely different time where they had to sell themselves and tour and tour. And now it's all different. Like, there's, it's oversaturated with so many bands. You can't tell who's who anymore. Well, the thing is, it's a good thing that there's bands. From, from my point of view, uh, all these bands are just cover bands of what they did. There's mm -hmm. no ori mm -hmm. there's no original content. Uh, I mean, I go, I get invited all the time to rock venues uh, around here in, in in Florida because it's you know people like to party here in South Florida. Mm -hmm. And you know what I see is I see a lot of these young bands, but they're playing Metallica, they're playing Pearl Jam, they're playing Led Zeppelin, mm -hmm. they're playing they're playing uh, uh, ACDC, they're playing. Black Sabbath, they're playing Iron Maiden, and it's like, come on, like, where's the new content? Why can't you guys do it like they did? And the reason is simple. It, it is, you're right. It is a different time. It's not that there's too much bands, but the thing is, they just don't have the balls to, mm. to risk into making new content. Mm. It's the same thing with professional wrestling. Mm. Professional wrestling was less scripted back then, and it was more of came from the heart of each one of the wrestlers. And now it's all scripted bullshit, and you know they they they're telling the wrestlers what to say. The same thing with the music; it's all like everyone, no one has the balls to be themselves and to stand up for themselves, and that's not cool, man. The the only real guys in professional wrestling right now that have balls to say to do what they want to do is probably um, a FTR. FTR, AEW, man, they were... With no, I mean, they're still scripted somewhat. The, the guys are allowed to have more freedom of the indie guys. Any guys that are on the independent circuit have a lot more freedom to say and, and do what they want. Yeah, but as they're doing as... a bunch of... They're doing a bunch of bullshit, man. They're wrestling the invisible man. They're they're wrestling nine-year-old children and and, and, they, and... and you know what? Back then, wrestling and music was so much better that you would go to an arena packed with thousands of people. And now, since everything operates like a strip club, everyone wants to offer bottle service, VIP, uh, uh, hot bartenders, bottle girls, and, mm. and charge hundreds. Of, less people come out. If they start treating people like people, again, right. more people would come out like the 80s and fill up arenas and clubs and wrestling venues. And now it's like everything is, is, is operates like a strip club. It's like, it's like a, like, the, the the three four guys that pay hundreds of dollars are either very wealthy or doing some kind of scam and that's why they that's why i don't go out and a lot of regular guys like myself don't go out because we're not trying to drop 300 400 dollars one night you know what i mean for right. for some bottles and not even being able to no you know no one wants to dance in the clubs no more and that's the reason less people come out but if they treat people like people i guarantee you more people would come out and it'd be the 80s all over again, but uh, the green... I, I hope so because wrestling, especially WWE at this point, is just a joke. I mean, yeah. it, it's it's G rated content, and I stick to the independent wrestling ring of honor and, and yeah, a lot of the beyond and a lot of the independence GCW. I stick to those because and yeah. anything with WWE is just like, uh... yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I haven't watched that in years, man, but uh. But, you know, what it is, is it's, it's the feminism propaganda. Feminism oh, propaganda yeah. and the sex sales propaganda is what's killing, uh, is killing everything right now. That's, that's why I can't wait for the election to be over and move on from this, man, because, uh, you know, this sex sales propaganda is really messing up everything. And the thing is, the sex sales propaganda is real easy for people to, to think of because, um, it doesn't take a genius to be like, okay, let's put some young women here with big boobs and get these guys for their money. You know what I mean? It doesn't take a genius to do that. The problem with that is, is that I feel like sex actually doesn't sell because they raise the prices on everything and therefore less people come out. The few people that do come out though, they get hustled for their money. They're spending hundreds of dollars. But if more people come out, they would make so much more money in wrestling, in, in the clubs, in in uh, music venues, everything. And by music venues, I say these rock bands should just have some balls and make their own content. I trust me. I started a rock. I tried starting a rock band myself. I play 
the piano and a little bit of guitar, right? And, the, and what happened is everybody that was in my band wanted to uh, play covers for Metallica, Enter the Sandman, Master of Puppets. And right. Like, no, we need to make some new content. And they wouldn't do it. And whenever they did, their heart wasn't all there. So I said, no more. I've had it with trying to start bands. I must have gone through like five sets of groups of people trying to start a band. And nobody wanted to had the enthusiasm to make original. That's why I became a DJ because I was like, fuck you guys i'm just gonna do my videos and do my music you know house techno all that shit like in the 90s and see where it takes me you know what i mean right yeah it's a it's a different time brother but i respect what you're doing man because you're not monetized right nope never have been i respect I, that. i just I, I i never had a, a need to be monetized or we have apparel but other than that this is all just for fun yeah, man, I, I respect it a hundred percent, man. It doesn't matter. Apparel's cool. I might, I might order something. You I know, mean, the, appar the apparel just the, the money that comes out of apparel goes right back into apparel. It's you're not going to make it or, or break the bank by making apparel. So no. anything that's that's made or whatever. Right now, I, I actually had to shut it down because the fulfillment centers are taking forever in Mexico, so they're on back order. It was taking like forty days for shirts to go out, and I can't, I can't, I can't do that being a, a, a merchant seller apparel you know seller that you know i'm asking people to wait 40 days to get their stuff can't do so i shut it down until things get better yeah man i, I completely respect it man i respect it what i respect what you're doing with with the whole not monetize and 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 keeping people informed and awake on 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 what's happening with society right now man there's a lot of feminism going on even a lot of these bodybuilders man i hate to say it but they're putting a lot of uh, supplements in their body, right? And it increases mm. testosterone levels in their body. But what people don't know is it also increases uh, estrogen with it. And that's the reason why, you know, the boobs come out, they get fat, and they start, their voice starts sounding squeaky. You know what I mean? A lot mm. of estrogen going on. And then they drink caffeine, and the estrogen levels just skyrocket. And then these are pretty much feminine men with muscles walking around. You know, Those are tan, well, tan, tens, my friend. <laughs> they might as well wear a skirt, man. They might as well walk around with a skirt, man. It's just, there's no real men out there, man. It's just a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, no, no one wants, everyone wants to play it safe. You know, they go to the club and, and they want to go out with their friends and, and, and drink and, and be and act goofy. And that's the reason. And then they don't get any girls at the, at the bar and they, they leave home pissed off, man. And then they're, they're, they're mm -hmm. bashing women and they're starting the MTOW movement where men go their own way. I don't know if you ever heard of that movement, you know, the mm -hmm. movement. It's just mm -hmm. very sad, man. There's a lot of guys that watch Jason's videos that are that are part of the Amtow movement. And I feel like you're a great ambassador in, in, in trying to help these men get strong again, man. I really appreciate you. Well, I just put out there, I literally put out there into the world what's going on. And I try to stay right down the middle. That's all I do. Good for you, man. Good for you, brother. But, uh, but yeah, man, uh, I appreciate the labor uh yeah, no I'm, gonna send, I'm gonna send you a follow i'm gonna send you a follow you follow me back i appreciate that and no disrespect to any of the people like this guy over here chucky e. cheese or or, <laughs> Chuck e. Cheese or, or, or big big j big j or 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 my other account you know uh you gotta be a freak you know my other account that i where i troll on no no disrespect to those guys man but uh um I just didn't know who they were. I don't mean, or, or to yourself, man. I, 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 I didn't know that Jason was, was like, you know, I'm Dr. Frankenstein, basically. He, he's Frankenstein. So Frankenstein <laughs> yeah. is going to causing all this havoc and all these people that didn't have a voice now have a voice because of all the content he's put out on his own. And, right. and, and I just don't know who they are. I, I know they know who I, I just don't know who, I don't mean no disrespect, man, but, uh, but you know, like, when I go on here and they're disrespecting me, I'm just defending myself, man. I don't come out of nowhere to, oh, try right. to disrespect I mean, any of them. What I say all the time for that, for all the guys that are on here and they know this, that like I, I for one have always promoted the trolls only because who am I to tell them what they can, what they can say and what they can say. It's like them turning around and a lot of them will tell me I need to drop dead and I need to jump off a bridge and whatever the case may be. So I, I empower the trolls to say what they want and do what they want. Now, there's a, there's a fine line between saying something and doing something. So when the trolls cross that line and they become what I call cancer and AIDS, 
and they're hunting for jobs and your, your spouses and where your kids go to school, that's very different. So anytime any, like to me, words are words. It's, the, it's when you cross the line of, and people in here know, like the, the shit I've gone through with, with the cancer and the AIDS. Oh. So it's, it's, it's part of this universe. And, and, and as soon as you dive in, there's no getting back out again. You're in Lake Creswell with the floaties on. I love it, baby. I, I, I love it. You know, it just, I just don't know who some of these guys are. The other day. Well, I mean, I there's, a lot, there's a lot of guys that, you know, for whatever reason, want to stay behind their, their accounts. But I've never hid from anything. Yeah. I actually went, I, I went to, uh, uh, I've met Chuck E. Cheese once. And I've met Andrew once. I've met, Big Lenny's my, my friend. I, you know what I mean? We've, we've popped acid mm -hmm. in the club together. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> you know, um, basically like uh you know i just didn't know who they who they were like I, I i don't know who these guys are and then they're all out there trying to challenge me to fight and stuff and you know it's just it's, it's <laughs> no like, liability bro <laughs> yeah it's like it's like you know what i mean like i don't know who i don't know who these people are man i no disrespect i just i i, I don't know yeah i met Chuck E. cheese man he was drinking at a at a at a l house in uh uh in boynton and I went in there with Jason. This is before we finished shooting my story part nine. And mm -hmm. um and man, it's like these these people are they love uh latching on to him, man, for, 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 for success. It's like, you know, it's like like I don't understand, man. Like it's like they have an obsession, you know, with with, with, with Genova and, and Yeah, well they learn real quick that they shouldn't have that obsession because his following brings a lot of issues with it. Yeah, 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 but um, you know, uh, what you do is is really you 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 keep people on the right track. Even though, like you said, they are trolls. Mm. There's a fine line, and you mm. inform them on 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 society on on why they shouldn't go the beta way. You know, the beta mm. way. You know, all the 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 beta male way. You know, because that's mm. that's what it is, man. There's a lot of beta males, man, and and that's uh uh you know, and that's that's sad. That's the reason why things are the way they are. You know, they 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 pay yeah. for. They pay for women, and uh, and and now that's society. Everything is like a strip club, and the only way we're gonna go back to how it was in the past is by talking about it. People are asking me what happened to Attorney Scott Miller. What happened to that guy? All right, man. So, uh, okay, so Attorney Scott Miller uh, has always been in the streets since day one. I've never ever uh, came to his place. He's he. I've always. We found him in the street. We were filming for My Story Part 8. And Scott uh, Miller approached us in the street. And he said, what are you guys doing? It seems pretty cool. And what we did is we, we brought him in. I didn't know that, that he had that in him, that every time you point a camera at the guy, he doesn't stop laughing. It's like the man has a disorder, like a camera disorder. It's, it's sick. And that's why he laughs every time the camera's on him. And that's what makes him special. The same way the 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 uh the same way jason is special in his ways attorney scott miller is special in a way that he's always laughing every time the camera gets pointed at him so i used him for a couple videos but i paid him and mm. he became popular but he's always been in the street he's always been unstable and um and you know like the last i've seen him was at this gas station in boca um with a with a huge bag with this huge like military style bag and, mm -hmm. and he was he was filthy he was dirty and um it just so you're saying are you, are you saying he's homeless now or what's he's always been homeless he's always been in the street oh, wow. his mom you know i don't i don't want to make false allegations but uh mm -hmm. his his mom allegedly <laughs> Uh, takes disability checks from him, you know, allegedly. I'm not I'm saying this is 100% true. Seems like that's but, a lot that goes around here in South Florida. Yeah, you know, and, and, and that's the thing, man, you know, like, his mom takes his money and, and, it, and he's, he's like, he's a 40, like 42 years old now. And, uh, you know, I, I, I find him and I see him, but I'm just very sketched out about working with the guy. You got to understand when you bring someone like that in, that you, you don't know what their agenda is and they're not stable, man. Maybe he is a drug addict. I don't know. I, I do know he likes to smoke weed, but you know, like, you know, There's it's nothing just, wrong with that. Yeah. But the thing is, I don't know what's wrong with the guy. I don't, and I can't bring him around. Like if I see him, I will make the approach for the fans, but you know, like 
you would have thought already that if he was a normal person, he would have branched out on his own, which is what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to do his own thing the same way Jason is doing his own thing. Uh, but he, he never, he never did. It's just like, he doesn't have that drive, man. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what it is with him. And, and allegedly his mom takes his disability money because he can't work because he has a bad back. Attorney Scott Miller has a bad back and allegedly his mother takes his disability money. So I don't know what the situation is with that, but, um, it's well, just, there you go. That just answered whoever's, I think that was Chef Crackhead. You already hear first. Fans. Yeah. Attorney Scott Miller has a bad back. It's final. Yeah, man. And he's in the streets and I just, I'm very sketched out about working with him. I will make the approach, but God bless attorney Scott Miller, man. And, and, and God bless all of them. And Jason's back with his mom. Hopefully, you know, he doesn't go crazy and do something stupid. And, uh, you know, I just want to see people prosper, man, make, make money, you know, even the misfits, man, you know, I, I, I wish you guys well with your, with your podcast and stuff. You know what I mean? Just don't, don't bash me, you know what I mean? Because I was here before you guys, and I never disrespected any of you guys out of my own, uh, uh, out of my own agenda. I, you know, I always rebuttal. I always responded. When Andrew called me a 170 pound, 75 pound dishwasher, I just responded, <laughs> and I, I challenged him to a boxing match, and he never wanted to catch the fade, man. He never wanted to catch the. I don't even weigh 175, man. You know, I wish I weighed that much. You know, maybe I can take him on a lot easier you know because he's a big guy you know and and but uh and chuck e cheese and and all these all these people man that came afterwards i don't know who i you know i never disrespect you guys out of my own heart you i always just responded man and angel j too man what happened to angel j is uh oh. he moved back to uh he moved to memphis and you know he's doing his own thing over there interesting yeah but well, Jonas, I got I, you know I was gonna jump on for a little bit, but I appreciate you jumping in here and uh, chatting with everybody. I think a lot of people had a lot of questions. I appreciate you, man. My story part eight, my story part nine are gonna drop soon on my channel, as well as some of the Jonas GTV exclusives, and yeah, also hotter than piss. Hotter than piss. A state of autism part one and two, they're coming, and um, you know I'm gonna drop some content on my Instagram in a few hours. And hey, man, I appreciate you. Hey, follow for follow, bro. I'm going to follow you back, bro. I'm going to follow right you. On, follow me. You got it, All brother. Right, Be safe, man. Be easy. Hotter than piss, baby. Hotter than piss. All right. That was Jonas. I missed a lot. I, I got to jump off of this. I was supposed to be off a long time ago. I'm sacrificing being in meetings. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I got to get out of here. I'll see you guys when I see you. Later.